Hi everyone, in this session we will discuss about thread control and its priorities in Java multithreaded programming. Core Java is offering a complete control over multithreaded program by suspending the threads or resuming the threads or stopping the threads completely based on user's requirements. These methods are used to control the threads behavior in a multithreaded programming. First method is suspend method. We can use this as a public method which is moving a currently running thread into the suspended state and it can be resumed using another method that is called resume. Here another method is given stop. This is completely terminating the currently running thread in the program. The resume method is using to resume the suspended method in this moment which is very useful to continue the process of currently uh, suspended thread in, by using this method. And wait method is also used to make the currently running thread to, in, uh, to wait state until another thread which is invoking the notify method. The notify method is wake up a single thread that is waiting for its turn in the objects monitor. And here I am giving an uh, example for uh, suspend and resume methods. This program is having the class name thread ex which is extending the thread class. By extending this thread class, this user defined class is having the features of multi-threaded programming. Then uh, in this uh, class, I am going to design a uh, method, run method. This run method is used to perform the action inside this body of the statement. The action is just it is getting the currently running thread for three iterations. Here the iteration number is given in the form of variable i. For each iteration, we are delaying the it, uh, currently running thread for 1000 milliseconds by introducing sleep method. If there is any interrupt method, if we are using, then we can use this exception, interrupted exception. So whenever we are using the interrupt method, this exception will handle that exception if it is anything is occurred and I am defining the main uh, class here this is the driver class because which is using the main method inside it and we are creating the thread one by using user defined a class thread ex here which is having the capabilities of thread concept because it is extending the thread class. So this is also equivalent to the thread class. So using this I am creating the T1. Right. For this T1 I am setting the name as a first thread. Then I am creating another thread T2 by using the uh, user defined thread uh, class thread ex. For the T2 I am setting the name as a second thread. And uh, one more thread T3 is created by using thread ex. For that also we are setting the name as a third thread. Then here I am starting the method. If I start the method automatically run method will be called. So this T1 is belonging to thread ex. So automatically the uh, run method available inside the thread ex will be invoked. So that thread ex is having the run method here. This action will be performed for three times. So what will happen? Currently running thread is here uh, uh, the thread one, uh, one. You look at here. First thread is the having the t1. So the t1 is uh, t1 is having the name first thread then that first thread name is displayed and the iteration number here 0. Then after that which is introducing 1000 milliseconds delay. In that time delay time here the T2 is started and immediately within the microseconds or nanoseconds T2 is suspended. You look at that T2 
T3 also we are starting. These are all happened in the form of microseconds or nanoseconds. So everything will be happened in the form of this microseconds. So CPU will be allocated to uh, all the threads whatever we are defining here. In that uh, time the uh, suspender method also will be introduced for the uh, thread T2. So based upon this here first thread is executing 0th iteration you see uh, second th thread is uh, here which is getting the CPU at the third time only before that th third thread is getting the uh, CPU then it is executing the 0th iteration after that here for each iteration which is introducing the 1000 uh, milliseconds delay that's why the, uh, the third thread and the second thread are uh, coming into the CPU with small delay after executing the first thread. Then again first thread is getting its turn right third thread is getting its turn and you see here second thread is getting its turn uh, at the last. So in, in this meantime the ratio uh, uh, suspend the uh, T2 will be suspended for a while right and also within the microseconds we are resuming that method that's why the second thread is uh, coming uh, for the execution continuously in the every uh, uh, it, every iteration I mean at the end of the third iteration or first iteration whenever the CPU is idle which is allocating to the T2 within the microseconds that's why there is no uh, different sequence okay so here the the suspended uh, uh, thread is resumed right by using the method resume method and if you want to suspend then you can use the uh, suspend method so from this example we observed that uh, we are using the suspend method and resume method for thread for controlling the threads then here third method i am using stop stop is completed completely terminating that particular a uh, thread right so here same example i am using thread ex example run method is there three iterations in the action action part and we are using sleep method uh, with a thousand milliseconds for making the delay for each and every iteration of the uh, thread now uh, i am creating the thread one uh, by using the thread ex class uh, which is user defined class already we have seen which is having the capabilities of thread class so which is able to create the thread thread ex is able to create the thread so t2 is also created for the t1 we are setting the name as a first thread t2 we are setting the name as a second thread for t3 we are setting the name as a third thread you see here we are starting the uh, t1 once we are calling the run method inside the thread ex will be executed for three times with delay 1000 milliseconds right by using the method sleep and in the within the delay of nanoseconds right t2 is started then you see completely we are stopping the t2 okay even though you are resuming the t2 right after the t3 started it will not uh, resume it you look at that uh, example here output uh, so before getting the uh, CPU by T1 in this example T1 is started first so everything is happening within the microseconds right so that's why it, before uh, the CPU is allotting to the uh, T1 right thread uh, uh, third thread is getting the CPU then first thread is getting the CPU you see the T2 is completely stopped even a single iteration is not executed within the uh, microsecond after starting the t2 immediately it is stopping the t2 so completely terminated uh, by this method so that's why even we did not get single iteration for the second thread so this is the purpose of the stop method it will completely terminate the thread right uh, by using the stop method right thanks for watching